see, I could already tell that we reserved ourselves because we're recording. <laughs> Y'all camera I was about to say, not everybody at once. <laughs> But it's okay because guess what? Hey, sweet mates, we're coming to you with our review of Coming to America 2. Let's get into it. Hey. So y'all, y'all already know how I am. I like the movie. Okay. I enjoyed the movie. It was really entertaining. When the movie started, I was like, is that? Oh, one more way. Oh, one more way. <laughs> now I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it just... was their hairstyles, too. Their mm-hmm. the kids' first hairstyles, mm-hmm. they were so cute. I just love the diversity in the natural hair that they showed. We mm-hmm. had locks. We had loose hair. We had, you know, even mom had her hair straight. So no matter how you wanted to wear your hair, as a black woman, you really had it all in the movie. So yeah, I like that. I would say I like that too. I was gonna say I like the cast and the die. The cast was pretty, it was okay. It was nice seeing the different cameos of different um, comedians in the entertainment thing. So I felt like it was a cute little inclusion. Like we ain't forget about you, come on in here. Like that's how I took it. <laughs> But I did like the different hairstyles because um, I was afraid it was going to be very bland. Not bland, but more traditional. <laughs> yeah, so I like. I did like because when old girl had the um, the locks, and then she was wearing the different styles too, so that gave me some ideas. But it was just like, okay, <laughs> I like nice. I love the Tiana Taylor, even though. She didn't really much, but her and Rotomio, or however his name is pronounced, they're bright. Really, and I was just like, they're too big of names to just have these small parts. But I mean, you know, no small part is unimportant. Well, you gotta see. Did they did um the cast the casting people have enough money to pay them to do more? Right. I mean. We talk about Eddie Murphy, Arsenio Hall, Coming to America, Amazon Prime. They had all the money. <laughs> they had they probably all the spent money. most of the money on those names you called. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. Because yeah. for me, the if casting. Here. I mean, but if it's your production company, because I look at the credits. Now that we've been doing these reviews, I look at credits. And Eddie Murphy's production company was front and center. So if it's your production company, why would I share? Because I got people to pay. It's not just me. Right. I got mm. people to pay too. But the cast was okay. Because at first, for me, I was watching it and I was like, all right, like everybody get a cameo? Like, why y'all ain't call <laughs> B208 Sweets? Like, what's going on? Like, everybody was getting a cameo. You, you sure you should have been in that movie. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, all right, this is coming to America. It is like back in the 80s it was more about comedians so when I saw like the Lunel I was like okay girl like I was excited when I saw the comedians but when I saw people like Rotimi and Tiana Taylor it was kind of like it didn't fit well like to me like it it, it didn't fit Mm -hmm. I mean they are actors and actresses though so they should be able to play whatever role even if it is like a comedic role so that shouldn't matter but I just I don't know when when they advertised that they were going to be in it, I expected more out of their roles, but they were barely in the movie, and their roles didn't even matter to me. I could have yeah. done. I don't that. even know. Yes, I guess I wrote Timmy. I didn't see him. We was exactly. He, he was the he first was... person that was supposed to marry the older daughter. Um, yeah. and I was just like, yeah, no, I gotta look at. I got my notes this time because they be on me. So guess what? <laughs> I had to... Got it this time. Anyway, what I said about that boy. Yeah, but you can't read it fast. When I saw him, I was just like, what do they have on him? Why they got Ro Timmy looking like this? That that wig was horrible. He got hair. Why they had to ask half hair? And he's African. Right. Like 
the and same I know way. he's a hit or miss with looks. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, he's fine. Like Dre and Power, I was like, oh, fine. But in here, I was like, he is not ugly. Like why y'all? They Do just made like him seem that. ugly. Yeah. Girl, that's what I said, child. <laughs> but at the end, you know, they got him cleaned up and he looked like his regular schmegler, real good. Really? I didn't even. I don't even remember. Yeah. It was at the credits. It was. And they were bit. doing like the line dance. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. That's okay. the only thing that came up of him when I looked it up. I don't see no pictures of him in, in the movie. And speaking of that. when Rotimi first came in, I was like, is that Michael Blackston? <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> <That's pretty laughs> odd. He was probably the only person from Motherland in the movie. That's what it looked like. <laughs> yeah. Rotimi got Motherland roots, but. Mm-hmm. He was probably the only one from the motherland in the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so too. I didn't really look that look that deep into it with the cast, like yeah. their actual background, because I know that's the thing. Like, whenever Black Americans try to play Africans, it's always this big uproar. Like, they always <laughs> say no, but like, whenever yeah. we play them, it's always a stereotype. Like, we're always making fun of them. Like, they never feel celebrated. So mm-hmm. I don't know what like true like Africans would think about it but I thought overall it was pretty entertaining yeah it was entertaining yeah. but which one would you like more one or two one duh like I, I couldn't compare to be honest it was two different lanes for me but I would prefer I, one but I would watch two again right she said <laughs> one duh I don't think I ever told y'all this but like don't I don't think I ever told y'all this but the first time I saw one was two days ago, so it has no duh. It, I don't know why. To me, I couldn't really get why people were like, oh my God, you have to see Coming to America. If you haven't seen Coming to America, what are you doing with your life? I was well, I kind of feel like <laughs> it was a great movie for people from America. If that makes sense. No, no. I think people here liked it too, but like it didn't stand up the way people go off about it. Did y'all watch it when it came out that time? I feel like for that time period, it was. That's what uh, I'm saying. I think it has to do with the length. Years later, it was just like, it was cool, but I don't think it should have been a movie like, oh my gosh, you have to see that. Otherwise, you're not black or black descended. And I, I kind of also, be a debate, also <laughs> yeah. And I also feel like when that movie came out, you really didn't see black people on screen. So that's where the hype is from. And since the people that are older uh, watch that movie, that's why the hype is still there. And I can get I think, that. I mean, yeah, I think the hype is the comedians because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, that's why people at first when I was people. watching this. I was like, let me view it from just a comedic standpoint. Like some of the writing was trash, but then from a comedic standpoint, you're like, oh, this is pretty damn funny. No, like it's if you funny. think it's funny. Yeah. funny. But I don't think it like most people were like, oh, you have to see coming to America. Okay. I would never <laughs> say that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> If I have kids, they probably watch it coming to America. No, they will. Like, my dad was encouraging me to watch it for years, but I just, I don't feel the same. hmm <laughs> Do you have something to say, Missy? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say so, that. No? No. So I'm... Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I didn't go back and re-watch one because I've seen it plenty of times like a long time ago and I remember the movie but that wouldn't be something that I like look up and go to like oh, I want to watch Coming to America but if it was online or like on some kind of channel and then they said next up we're going to play part two coming to America the second one I'm definitely going to turn the channel off after watching the first one like um it was almost it was you'll be tired you'll be sleepy 
No, not at all. Um, I watched it. Like at some points, I did get up, was moving around, you know, peeping over the kitchen. Wait, like, oh, for the second okay. one? Yes, for the second one. Like I didn't sit down, watch it, watch it. I don't even think at any point did I snicker. I might have done the little. That's we got a problem because it was I funny. It was funny. Like it had mm. parts that I laughed at. I was just like, I don't think it's a must see, but it was funny. I don't think it was a see at all. <laughs> Are you gonna be <laughs> a hater? I don't know. Nice. You so what? I don't know. To be a hater all your life. Clear that the first one you're gonna watch it. You're gonna watch it. It was the same concept in the second one. Like yeah. Okay. So if mm. I was saying that, I would I would more understand. Like, okay, you just didn't really like it. But if you liked the first one, you kind of it was the it same thing. The same yeah. Yeah. Yes and a no. So I think you of course, went in planning to hate. So go ahead. No, I, I think she liked the first one more because it was the romantic aspect. You know, he went to Queens and she from Queens. Like, oh, yeah. it's all this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Get married. That is definitely That's not what it. it. Is, DW. You're that right. is, I don't, I don't, I'm trying You're to think. Right. Like, it wasn't okay. And I guess because, like, as DW mentioned before, um, she wouldn't compare it because they're not on the same plane. But the way I'm comparing the entertaining aspect of these movies, I'm pairing up like that club scene when they went looking for them. We got to go to the clubs. Okay. There was no, not saying it has to be a club scene, but there was no equal parallel scene or moment in the second one. Yes, it was. There was, we okay, so remember it. when they went to, the, remember when they went to the club scene, they was taking the advice of someone at the church. Remember, no, someone either at the church, ooh, ooh. I mean, let's see. So you don't Ooh. even remember anyway. the first No, okay. So what I'm, no, what happened was the people in a barbershop or someone somewhere was like, oh yeah, you got to find them at the clubs. Okay, let's go to the clubs. And that was obviously the wrong advice. And then well, someone was like, no, you got to find him in the Zamunda. church. He's hmm? not from Zamunda though. No. And I guess maybe that's why. Yeah, that's, that was a disconnect because everything that they did they've been to Queens before. They they already had the American experience. So it was kind of like, where can you find the joke? And it was like, well, if he has a bastard son, like the whole movie, they called him a bastard son. If he oh. has a bastard son, that makes it, you can find some humor in that. Yeah. Okay, I did laugh and snicker when they called him yeah, a bastard son. I know you son. did. I know you were, you were hating. Okay. I wasn't, I wasn't hating. I just don't remember <laughs> laughing the whole time. Though, the fact that he was a bastard son, they did not, we're in the 21st century. It is 2021. Do we not do paternity tests? I was thinking that. So so we just gonna take him all the way to Zamunda and nobody did a test and you still didn't do a test? Right. But, they, but yeah, I thought about that. And then I thought, but they got it from what was he like the prophet? A seer? <laughs> yeah, so I feel like in their culture it was like if the seer says it, yeah, then it gotta be true. it's true. Mm -hmm. That's the what seer, I was thinking. You don't know what the seer saw. The seer was funny. Y'all can't tell you. You can't tell it me was, the seer was a funny one. Oh, it wasn't a she. The seer what? I think it was a he. I think it was a he. I think it I was like, a she, but I was just but, gonna say the seer. What I did like about the movie that the three daughters, I appreciate that the fact the oldest daughter, not saying she had to be of lighter skin, but I appreciate that she was a darker skinned woman or girl, or whatever she is of her age, just because I would, I know I would have felt some type of way if the oldest daughter ready to take the queen, because if she was looking like the mom, because it would have been like a... No, but it, it was just because, you know, I, at least some shows and movies that at least I've seen and, and I'm watching now, even when it's a, they still two black couples, one is lighter, majority of the children are light skinned. And not saying that can't happen, but it's just like, there's different shades. They, come you on. think they should depict something different sometimes. Mm -hmm. Or even if it's depicted different, it's usually the lighter one being the, main character or having a certain role to play and it's like stop playing you know no yeah so. 
But <laughs> can we talk about the daughters for real, for real, though? Which one? So, the middle one is his real What's... daughter. Mm -hmm. You could tell that, right? Because she barely did anything in the movie, but she was anything at all. <laughs> she do anything it's at probably all. Three lives is she, she a producer? Up. Is she a producer, DW? Oh, I didn't see her in the credits, but... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she, three lines, she did a lot and if she had three different facial expressions she had a lot and, and my brother and i we were like why is the younger one out acting her and the thing was yeah. i saw like an interview where she was like oh she had to um audition for the role and i was like yeah he was biased because girl well no that means but what was she supposed to do though to do as right. a the younger sister was out acting her do y'all remember the younger sister Yes, yes, I, was I do. Well, she was telling him the people on the wall. Sister. Do you remember the middle sister? No, yeah, because exactly. she was just standing around there. No, I remember. Right. To be honest, most people don't remember the middle child. That's true. <laughs> I I can attest like, to that. But guess what? <laughs> they get ignored. <laughs> like, yeah, but no, it wasn't. But the middle children get ignored. But it isn't for lack of being present, though. Mm. She didn't do anything. We here. Exactly. Talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, because she, no. she didn't do much. Like, even when the oldest one and the younger one were acting like surprised or angry, she was there like this. And I was just I like, think that was her resting face, like I, yeah, a but brother. That's all of the emotions. Rest differently, because <laughs> you're supposed to be angry. Give me anger. Well, yeah. I honestly can't be mad at Eddie Murphy, because guess what? No, not mad at him. I'm I just saying that, that character thing. we could have done without. We could have done and without you, her. And she'll continue to get paid to do nothing. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I was any her, but I can still say she sucked. <laughs> but even the wife, when he came, the, the wife wasn't surprised, was she? She was just like, and I guess maybe she just had that trait. Either. If Who? Real. What did you say? You go. What you say? Was she yeah, even you. surprised in the first movie either? Well, this is a it different was. wife, anyway. No, it's no, it's not the same not. one. Same person. She just she aged. Different to me. Yeah, she just aged. Yeah. But she don't look bad to me. She looks like the same mm. person. She don't look bad, but she just looks different. She looked good to I me. I thought it was a different person. Well, uh, I think she's still. Person. She was still the same. The same one who left him on the train. Doo doo. When she was just like. Right, and so that's what I'm saying. Like, she didn't do much acting in the first one either. So you came to the second one expecting more? Oh, oh we're not gonna pretend like she was like, do you see me barking like a dog? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I she like that. She did. I like she that. Did. I like she that. did. <laughs> she did. And she told him that he was going to his, a different bed in the castle. So yeah. I yeah. like that part. But funny. what I'm saying is she said how the wife wasn't surprised and etc. She doesn't usually Actual but she was a little um she was, she was a uh, um no she wasn't a church kid no, no but she, she was, was a little prissy like my dad's a man and jimmy donald's and yeah mcdowell yes speaking of which mm. i got fooled i thought it was mcdonald's like before they started and i was just like oh they got mcdonald's sponsorship and my dad was sitting there and he didn't say anything and then when i they revealed it was mcdowell's he was like Haha, they fooled you huh and I was just like, hey. yeah, I like that was... that the whole arch and Sorry. arc and whatever. I like that part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't right. think the wife was shocked. I don't know. Because a part of me, so when it came to them and their relationship, to me in the first one, she knew what it was. He was a prince. She had, she was engaged or with a boyfriend in the she first didn't know one. She was a prince. No, but I'm saying, like, when she did find out, like, she already knew, like, what it was. Like, he's mm -hmm. just this, I, I feel like when I said she knew he was a prince, that's kind of an assumption. When people say they're African, you kind of like, oh, you royalty. Like, let's be real about our Black ignorance. We automatically assume you're royalty. <laughs> so she thought he was a prince, <laughs> but he was just, you know, doing this little stuff. So, like, in their relationship, I feel like, she kind of had an upper hand because she already had a fiance or a serious boyfriend mm -hmm. so she already had the upper hand so when they fast forward when he when she found out he had an illegitimate child I feel like he was just, she was just like well 
I had someone before you. You kind of stole me from my man. So and she kind of said think? that, right? She said, "Yeah, who do yeah, I think he I was am?" Like, whoa, man? you slept with somebody before me. Mm-hmm. And when he said I that, I was like, this? "You stole her." I took her exactly. Earth? Like, come on, you kidnapped her, and you took her overseas. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, but yeah, I, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. So that was the part you know that was what? missing from the first one to me. Because I'm like, why is it there more emphasis on the fact that you stole this whole man's girl? <laughs> like there wasn't mm-hmm. a whole thing about well, it. He honestly didn't want her. If, if based on the first one to me, he didn't want her. He just wanted whatever he could get out of her. So yeah. I'm glad he, you know. He didn't end up with I, her. Mm, I feel like in the first one, the dad was just controlling who she should be with. She didn't really have. A you don't think Eddie to Murphy with money? So when he found out that um the prince had money, he was like, "Well, shoot, he can be with you. Can be with him yeah. if you want." And he slapped Wait. the door in the other guy's face. Not if you want. She he said, was like, "Be with her. Be with him." She said she doesn't think Prince Akeem wanted. That's what you said? In the first one? I don't think that's no, the other guy. About the other Jerry Curl. Oh, Jerry Curl. Got it. Agree. Okay, proceed. Okay. okay. So one thing we didn't talk about in this movie yet is how the king had his funeral. <laughs> <laughs> and this man, listen, this man got in the casket. Listen. <laughs> That was too Love far it. for me. Like, okay, have your funeral while you alive. But why are you in the casket? I just... It wasn't until he died when he was like, I'm going down, son. And, and that's why I was like, wait, this man in the casket? I was like, this man... In the-. And then I'm listening to, what's the name? Gladys Knight saying on that night. <laughs> okay. I didn't laugh, but I think now that we're talking about it, it is funny. Yeah. When I was you watching know, it, I was like, and then the way he said, "Well, I'm gonna like, I'm going now." He go close his eyes like he going to sleep. I'm pretty sure they <laughs> laughed every take he did that because I was like, "Is it there for real?" No way. But, and then all of the artists that came out, they had on Vogue and Salt and Pepper. I could have did it without Salt and Pepper. I'm Man, not like, gonna speak I on like that. I'm not a part they, of it. But they didn't anyway. look good to me. Um. The mm-hmm. costumes was like everybody else in regalia, royalty, that, and they wearing those the eight ball jack. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that what they wore when they performed before? Is that what they? Yeah, yeah that's so what they, a, that's they, what they, they want. Something that you would identify them in. Yeah, but they, we maybe that. Okay, them, yeah, but, we didn't need to identify them. They were now. No, I don't remember them announcing. Right. I heard yeah, Embo. Each I didn't hear Salt and Pepper. They said, said it right after. Mm-hmm. Um, I just I heard it. I was like, what a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. And everybody knows that's their it's song. Salt and Pepper. And then Salt and Pepper came out. Yeah, but anyway, mm-hmm. we're talking about the, him dying at the funeral. We just said that he had a whole seer. The seer said, you're going to die at approximately this time, so we should have the funeral and you'll mm-hmm. die within. I think that's what happened, but that was funny. If that's how life happened, I wouldn't be mad at it. So you could see everybody who showed up and be like, aha, I'm a haunt them. <laughs> if they didn't show up. <laughs> yeah. So. Or to see some people that showed up that you ain't never seen before right. or seen in a long time. Like, what you doing here? <laughs> but back to the use of the word bastard, it was a lot for me. I was like, dang, we get it. They did we say that. It. The only it person hard. that said it illegitimate is your wife. Oh, and I was like, "Thank goodness! I'm glad somebody else used another word." Cause God, gosh darn it! Maybe the I vocabulary mean, in the moon that's limited. Yeah. And that oh. is, it was supposed to be offensive. Jk, Jk. Because he was <laughs> low key <laughs> raped. Yeah. He was. He wasn't low key. He was raped. He was raped. So he is a bastard. Like, come okay. On. <laughs> Was he right? Like, yes. Yeah. He remember, she want to blew the smoke in his face. Right. So that's the drug. Go ahead. And he said he doesn't even remember having sex with her. It's Go great. ahead. 
Oh. And then she turned up the whole and movie. Then and then for lack of other words, mounted. Go ahead. Right. And the friend set him up. So if anything, his friend coerced him and then he was right. As he would but be sentenced to life in prison. She would be. And then the friend would have got in trouble too. Because how are you going to set your friend up basically to be raped? That you think you're helping him. You don't Actually, think he would. Okay. Because that is rape culture. Because they didn't yeah. discuss that at all. <laughs> um, I felt like he wasn't trying to. I thought he was trying to set him up like a get intoxicated. And then sleep with her. I don't think he wanted it to go. I'm gonna give you this wild woman, and she's just gonna take advantage. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. What's the face? It's still rape. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely rape. Right, but it's we're going. Right. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. But I. I think. Yeah. 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 yeah oh yeah. yeah. You didn't have to agree. What it is is what it is. 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 <laughs> <laughs> But did y'all think that King Akeem had to do, well, Prince at that time, had to do any of those tests? He was a yeah. punk punk. I don't think... He said he had to really? do it. And we no, but he remember... He said he had to do it, except for the, the chopping of the um Whiskers? the foreskin. But everything else he said he had to the do. The chopping of the foreskin. But he was no. lying. Yeah. He was lying. I don't think No, he, he lied about how many times it took for him to pass the test with the lion. Cause remember the the hairstylist told um the prince that it took Akeem eleven to twelve times to get it right. I didn't hear so, that part, but okay, that makes more sense. But I was gonna come out with Rain said. I don't think he was a punk prince at all. I just feel like he wanted to do what he wanted to do. I'd, and that's another thing from the movie. I'm like, I don't remember them ever saying he was a punk or anything in the first one. So why is this a consistent message in the second one? That's Not like a punk, get. but I don't think he would have fought a lion. I, I don't. Oh, he yeah. Did would you fight a lion? No, he did fight the guy with the <laughs> gun, though. So I'll give him that. No, I ain't fighting yeah. a lion. Me either. He did have the gun. <laughs> But in yeah. all of two, they kept saying nobody respects you. You're a punk. And I'm mm-hmm. like, where is this coming from? This, like, <laughs> I'm guessing what they were really trying to say is that Prince Akeem kept making all these promises, like I'm gonna change all this stuff. See, you uh, see, I went to Queens to go find my wife instead of getting a wife from Zamuna to I do see. what I say. But then yeah. when it's time to make changes, here you are doing the same thing everybody else did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And even though he wasn't like a punk punk, like you said, DW, he low-key was pampered. So he was kind of a punk, even though he knew how to fight. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't get that part. But what y'all saying is making sense. And then it also, to me, the fact that obviously he's going to still be a prince until his father dies. It made it seem like he didn't do anything during that entire time he was oh, in his yeah. position right besides so me. we just waiting because remember he's like oh your father's dead not yet and it was like well we've been waiting all this time for him to die just so we can make things shake or whatever so mm. i guess he's a punk what did y'all think about the lady still hopping and barking that was funny. She was so extra. You better give her her check. Right. That's what I was thinking. You better get that check. Her and Fancy from Jamie Foxx show. What's her name? Mm-hmm. Garcelle? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fancy was still there. Mm-hmm. But I was, I was looking to see the original actress to be hopping, at least. But I guess she her. would it not play that role. That is that huh? her. She just That's ate her. her. She was the same person. <laughs> yeah, she really yeah. was. <laughs> I looked it up. It took a Google search. Wow. She looked different because I was thinking of, as I said, what's love got to do with it? So I just had something that came to mind. When okay. the fact that um, Akeem stole her, his wife, from yeah. her fiance, I feel that, um, what's the girl he married? What's her name? Lisa. Lisa. No, not Lisa, the hairdresser. Oh. We oh can't the hairdresser the fact know. that their culture is usually an arranged marriage, can it not be said that she stole him from what was arranged? What? 
Yes. You knew he was going to be. Can I close the laptop? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to do something. Not you, you, you know, she, told, she told him, no, we can't do this. So she didn't steal nobody. I low-key agree with you, Miss B. Okay, let even if she said that, that, that wasn't. I completely it. agree with you, but let me tell you why I kind of agree with you. Because she was, fl- she was like doing what most women do, talking about. I can't, but she was very well putting herself in the position to do exactly what she did. Let's not lie. Because what's she telling him? And then after she told him, she was running away like, oh, I shouldn't have done this. Oh my God. Shut up. You knew what you was doing. Even before then, when she was, <laughs> she took his hair up, right? Okay. And then you know, I don't want nothing no more. Cut it off. Cut it off. And she was all like, do you really want me to cut this off? Wait, what? And what did she, she say? She said it like that. Basically, she did. And then she hit a, do you not know the story of Prince Akeem? You just make it your own. Like, you don't, honey, do my hair and just tell me to suck up, grow it up, you know? But so she low- talked, it wasn't about him marrying the girl. It was about him being Prince Perry. It's not like she was trying to talk they him really out of developed marriage. a friendship, friendship. But him being Prince came with the fact that because remember mad? when he was like, I'm not done yet. Or no, when he first came, it was all like, oh, okay, you're marrying so-and-so, but he's not a prince yet. Okay, you got a week. So he already knew me being prince isn't just me taking his role, getting his title and everything. I, I'm getting married too. But that was Akeem being messy because he didn't want to fight in the war. That's the only mm-hmm. his son, Lavelle, would have been prince regardless. He mm-hmm. didn't need to be married. Right. It was because he didn't want to start a war and according to y'all be a punk ass. That's why he said you got to get married. And he shouldn't so, have been like that because that's basically what the father was going to do to him. So I was really mad at him there. I was. But going back to her in the garden because these shows like to do these things in gardens. <laughs> she, <laughs> she knew what she was doing in that garden like i don't nobody can convince me otherwise she was definitely playing the whole <laughs> but, no, <laughs> but she was going into him kn- knowing what she was trying to do I, I i don't trust her there which garden when she was talking about movies her. she played her cards <laughs> right she played her yes, cards right let that be known but yeah. she knew what she was doing agreed just because I don't think she knew he would have took, taken her to America, like, because all she wanted to do was own her own business. She didn't want no man. All she wanted was her own business. She knew so he I don't liked think she her. Knew. She knew he liked her. And I don't think she knew that he would take her to America, but I think she knew he would leave the other girl for her. Because he did. He kept saying, I don't really know her. She doesn't know what she, she, she knew. She knew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that part kind of sped by, though, because I'm like, First, we yeah. could tell what Tiana Taylor's character was. Because at first, I thought mm-hmm. she was going to be a more dominant woman and he wouldn't be able to handle it. Yeah. But then she was just like the other woman. And then it was too quick for him to make that decision. Exactly. Yeah. I was like, I could have used that part to be a little bit slower. But obviously, it wasn't about Lavelle. It was about Akeem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They should have played that differently. Completely. Can we reverse to when Lavelle first got to Zamunda? Oh, wait, no. Can oh, we reverse that? No, we still got to go back yeah, a little bit yes, more. Okay. To when Akeem found Lavelle. And Where did he find him? In Queens, on the corner, selling tickets. Oh, yeah. And he was just wait, sitting Wait, can we reverse the before that? Just a little bit? Go ahead. Go on. So go when go. he was trying to get this job, <laughs> and he was interviewing... <laughs> Yeah, that was funny. That was a funny scene. This guy asked him when he said his mom got laid off or she was having money problems or whatever he said. And she, you know, you did you hear what this guy asked him, the interviewer? If she was on drugs and oh, yeah. all, all sorts of different things below. But I love the way he handled it when it was like, because you were handed this position. I was like, okay. Right. Mm-hmm. And I like how he was like, I need a job, but if this one, mm-hmm. you, know, you know, that was my part. You know, that was my part. I like that part. Yeah, we needed to back up right there. Yeah, that was when he was. Part. And then you heard that man when he asked uh, Lavelle, he was like, um, was your dad in the picture? Then he going to say some ish like, oh, yeah, 
I went to boarding school, so I wasn't with my parents. When I, went to my parents, I read that not having both parents can be very detrimental to your health. Science shows. I was like, if you don't. And he was like, who, who said this? Science. <laughs> Scientists. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was the worst. But I really like the way he put them in his place. Like, oh, so they never like sneaked you into rehab? Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> and then he said, your, he said, your dad didn't sneak you into rehab? It was my mom. And it was heroin. <laughs> <laughs> or something he said. <laughs> yeah, I like that part. Yeah. So then when he found him selling t- <laughs> so when he found him selling tickets, go ahead. Uh, Akeem looked at him like a parent does a kindergartner at their Easter speech, just all proud and yes, you know they look at you like this. Graduation. That was the face he had. <laughs> <laughs> like my child. That's how he looked at that boy. When he sees him, he will know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would know when I see it. Their accents, oh, but I guess it's not really a real country, but boy. Yeah. I felt like he did Maybe. better with his accent on the first one because it was too many times this one he slipped up and I was all like, <laughs> oh, I didn't know Eddie Murphy, yeah, are you sure you kind of African? <laughs> they needed, they did need some, um, some voice training on that. So. <laughs> But you like know, W said earlier, it is just a comedic show, so I don't think they wanted mm-hmm. all of that. Yeah, I don't think that part was important. Yeah, I don't think they felt it was important to spend all that money on. I I low key agree, but it, the voice still is funny to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so fast forward a little bit to um when Lavelle goes to Zamunda with his mom, and then Prince Akeem is like. Well, I guess he was king at this point. He was like, hey, um, so I have a bastard child. And she's like, I don't want no more surprises. And he's talking about, okay, that's the last surprise. First of all, you already know how you are. Why are you going to promise that that's your last surprise? (laughs) Well, you already know it's going to be something else in the bag. Something else you ain't tell her. Then they come around the corner. And he's like, okay, now that's the last surprise. <laughs> her. But I don't like, I like that though. Like, I like the way she handled this whole movie because what was there to be mad at? Like, mm-hmm. it's nothing she could have done. Yeah. Like, it was before. It's not like they were dating. They didn't even meet. Yeah, I just but think she, had she, to, she had to make sure. Okay, so this was before me. Okay. <laughs> And then you yeah. still have to, e- either way or the other, you still have to process it like, okay, that's a whole you other have question. a child, you have a son, which I was supposed to give you, um, that child lives where I'm from, so that means that there's another woman, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff that you just have to take into consideration before you are not. But no, I feel like when she saw who the woman was and how they met, she didn't care. Yeah. They we became besties. Besties. <laughs> y- y'all just met at a club. It is Leslie. Like, Leslie is just cool. Like, she the homie. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's not. Yeah, no. She's I didn't see her being. And she didn't yeah, even she care. Was she was just friend. like, oh, he's a prince? Okay, me and my son about to go there and live our best lives. <laughs> but they only I mean, went and they then, saw that money. <laughs> and then Leslie um, in her closet, though. Yeah. So it's still processing to do like... Yeah. They packed a duffel bag. Not even a duffel bag. A string what duffel bag. They, what they got to do with my closet? It's plenty of cloth here for it me. It was nothing in her closet, probably. Well, why you going in mine? Okay. Okay. <laughs> because he's rich like you could have basically asked for money like a stipend you would have mm-hmm. gotten clothes like what you doing and what we mentioned earlier there could have been scenes where it was more about the siblings adjusting because they spent a lot of time about the parents exactly. adjusting but the only person who adjusted i think her name was mika or is that her real name i don't know the oldest but, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, mm-hmm. yeah. So Mika was the only one who actually had conflict with the brother. Everybody else, you don't, you don't know how they felt about. It. Well, the youngest one, she seemed like, oh, he's cool, he's funny. Yeah. But yeah, the middle one, you didn't know what she thought about it. But I already told y'all how I felt about her. But <laughs> the oldest one, though, the only reason why she had conflict was because she was prepping to be ruler, and now because he's a man, he's just gonna come over Young me. Man. Yeah. Like he just shows up and that's good enough. But Oof. he's also older, which is usually. But he also... just showed up. No, I agree. But she made it seem like only because he's a man, but also because he's older. Because mm-hmm. that's usually how it falls. And it was kind of, that part didn't make sense to me in the writing because I'm kind of like, she was going to get married and whoever was her man was going to be ruler. So been, wouldn't you yeah. rather a bastard mm-hmm. brother be ruler than some man that you just have to marry yeah. just so you can be queen? You like, can low key I think the you. problem the problem with that was who is this unknown man going to choose to rule? So even if there's a king on the throne, guess what? I got some sense and I know I really know how to take care of this without you. So it's not two people that don't know anything, which it could have been if it was him. As but she wouldn't have she any know. say. She would have just been like her mom sitting there pretty. Even though the mom exactly. did have some say because McDowell's came to Zamunda, but her husband had to okay it. But, 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 but they would have also had years to prepare because he wasn't going to drop dead. Yeah. So I think he would have been fine, but I still think they, because we're in the 21st century, they couldn't have made a movie where he ended up coming on rule because everyone would have been like, young girls are watching, what about girl power, blah, blah, blah. So from the beginning of the movie, we knew she was going to rule. Like There yeah, was no other way that could have ended. If that yeah. was the ending of the movie, I would have burned Zamunda down. Really? I would have just been like, okay, it's just tradition. Like, mm. I, I don't think I would have been that mad. I it's felt like, like yeah. Mm-hmm. No, because I was gonna make a Black Panther reference, so you can just <laughs> get this on track. <laughs> so go ahead. And I feel like even <laughs> if, like, despite tradition, there there are a lot of females or women in authority that don't have the top, that number one position but they're very influential. So even if I am whispering in air, I'm, you know, telling you, okay, no, let's reason this out. I'm still getting some sort of say, or if my bastard brother <laughs> doesn't know what to do, guess what? I do. Let me tell you, let me show you, let me tell you, let me do this and that and the other. So I feel like she could have made it to her advantage, but I really think if they would have ended with her ruling, what I thought they would have been like, well, I actually caught the whiskers. Why does he, you know, I thought yeah. she would have went through all the requirements. Oh, that would have been better. Like a little- I told you I'd be right. Who was ready. <laughs> they need me on the production. Hey, hmm. call her I was scared at that scene where they were plotting the whiskers. It's- and then I had to Google to see if he had a woman. Because there was a look that he gave her where I was like, is he really not the brother and they're going to marry each other? Because it was <laughs> yes, a chemistry yes, there that was not yes. brother or sister. Yes. And I was it's like... chemistry they meant to keep off camera. Okay, because I was <laughs> like, this is a little... like what's about that, that was a thought of mine as well, that they would end up yeah. together. Yeah, because their never... connection was not brother-sister. I don't care what nobody I says. Mean, I mean, <laughs> but that is fair because they did not know each other as brother-sister. So when they met each other, it was like... You, no, because you will have to mentally process this is my sister. But he probably just saw it and was like, she fine. Hey, she like, fine. Yeah. Right? No, he introduced him as this is my bastard yeah. son. But, but before no. that, like he's just here and I'm his son, but he has no connection to this man. So that's not no. his sister either. You know DNA test, so who yeah. says? Okay, so if they, that's what I'm saying. If he would have came out and been like, well, I don't know my father, but I do know who he is. We just not cool. Then I will understand, okay, maybe, but this is my bastard son. No, yeah. no. I still no. think he had to mentally process it because he didn't no. act on it, but he had to be like, okay, no, that's my sister. Calm down. 
<laughs> Unless that was what G said, that actors had a moment and we weren't supposed to see it, but I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I did too, girl. <laughs> uh, speaking of seeing, did y'all see that big behind tub in Rick Ross' house? Oh, that, that was his house. Yeah. Oh, that wow. A big, he had a little cameo too. Good for him. Big, he Rick had Ross. a cameo right before that because I wrote down in my notes. I know that's not Rick Ross. <laughs> With that horrible oh. accent. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say. But I just want that tub in my house. It's probably as big as my apartment is right now. Wait, the tub where Donnie Savage came up out of? <laughs> that's who that was? <laughs> that's Donnie Savage. I need to look him up because he was fine. But he I was, was like, uh, but like you, know. you know. <laughs> Go ahead, tell the truth, shame the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Just insert Donnie Savage here. <laughs> Whoever. But explain us. Explain it to us. Who is that? And why oh, do you he's know fine. him? Th- that little C did not do him justice. Why do you know him, not. Miss C? What you mean? Where's he from? I don't know where he's from. He just fine and I follow him. Oh, okay. He's an MMG model. Mm. There's a lot of those. No, I'm a pure search him. I look on my off off time. (laughs) (laughs) At first when I saw him from behind or whatever, I thought it was going to be, what's that guy name? That guy. I don't remember his name, Roger but I do his name. No. no, the Roger one from Girls Trip. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, Kofi. Kofi. Yes. And I was uh-huh. like, Kofi. And I was like, that's not Kofi, but he's still fine, though. So <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how Kofi Kof do it. What? I wonder how Kofi Kof do it. <laughs> no, not, just Kofi. Kofi. <laughs> not a Kof whole Kof. pet name. Oh my, a trash one at that, yeah. Kofo. Hey, people Kof. like what they like. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. No, that ain't cute. Never mind. Kof. Look at you, just being a hater. Kof, Kof, Kof. Like, anyway, you said that like Jay Z. Kof, Kof. Wait, so at this point in the movie, we still ain't got no DNA test. We didn't get one the whole movie like this could not be his child she said she was a hoe before they even got to zamunda she said J- maybe you know don't have no dna yeah. test yeah uh, what did you say maybe zamunda doesn't have any dna tests okay but they was in queens <laughs> yeah before they left yeah i just think but, he just he just yeah. wanted a son. he didn't care really he was like oh this is my son he I, need to do this so we don't yeah, I, we don't go at war. And it was kind of his we need to talk about that. The father the grandfather, James Earl Jones, great actor. But in this movie, he was very much like, Oh, you need a son. You you failed me. You need a son. I was like, Sir, just go and die. Was, <laughs> yeah, he was a traditional one in the first one too. Because mm-hmm. he was stressed that like you he have was. to marry this woman. Like And it was the mom who was like, yo, cut it out. Like Yeah. I liked the do. mom from mm-hmm. the first one. Mm-hmm. Cause she was like, yo, he clearly loves this other girl. Leave him alone. Mm-hmm. But old yep. Jamesy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and there's two things that we didn't talk about yet that we should probably mention. First off, the barbershop scenes were really good. They were still funny to me. Like, those were but funny. But they didn't age. They were already that age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's but the thing. True because they all were Eddie Murphy, no? Some were and Arsenio. Arsenio. And Simeon. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then, what else? Wesley Snipes did a really good he job. He did a really good job. Like, I did not expect him to do that well, to be honest. So like, he was exactly. his character. He was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unlike the second he's daughter. Stating, yeah. <laughs> he stayed in character the whole time, too. Yeah. So I like that. And then Central Chocolate was really good. I did not expect him to make a cameo, like, he at all. That. So that was funny at the end. And Peaches came on the stage, too. Oh, yeah. Peaches. My name is Peaches, and I'm the best. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> everybody back but the sister 
But I feel like the sister didn't come back because she was just minding her business in Queens. But But wasn't she with? Yeah, she was with him. And then she tried to be with Eddie when, no, she tried to be with Arsenio when she thought he was the prince because she was. uh, Uh I thought she went back to Arsenio, no? No, she went, first she was with Eddie because remember the girl had her man. And she then, went back to the fiance, right? When he was on a swing set. No, they yeah. went, they went to a basketball game. Okay. So, and he was trying no. to get with Lisa. No, I'm saying, okay, so no. remember she was with Arsenio because she thought she was like, no, he's a prince. How could she always get the good ones? Yeah, that was the end of it for her. She didn't go back to anybody. I thought she went with the fiance though. The one who Lisa dumped. That would be disgusting. I don't remember that. Mm-mm. No. Don't the last thing I remember was her at the wedding being happy for her sister. That's she was at the wedding? I thought so. Probably, but all I remember is her saying, how does she always get the... And the father, Loki, was paying her no mind. Wonder why. <laughs> Dr. Mm-hmm. Hugh, maybe. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when they were teaching um what's that boy what's the prince name? The the Lavelle? Okay. Yes, thank you. His mom was really funny though. Cause she's she's hilarious. No, yeah, yeah. I know her. She's hilarious. When they were trying to teach him how to walk like a prince, he was like, Boy, go on, looking like a slave from the future. <laughs> yes. a slave from the future, child. That was hilarious. I think they outfits as lot. well. The son, his outfits were on point. I like, yeah. I like his. Mm-hmm. But he was Loki trying to rock a little Killmonger. I wasn't with it. <laughs> I liked it. That's what the hairstylist did. She thought it was cute. And the little Trevor Rat tail. Oh. Not Trevor Rat tail, because in in coming to America, Akeem had one of those too. But did then he, he, mm-hmm. I didn't notice it. Yeah, and the hairstylist pointed it out. She was like, um... But it wasn't a lock. It was a whole braid, wasn't it? Oh, I do remember mm. it. Oh, yeah. So that's probably why they gave it to him. Okay. Remember when he got a haircut? He said, what do you want to do? He said, I want to do the jerry curls. He was like, no, that's not for you. And he just <laughs> took it off and was all like, that'd be $25 or whatever. <laughs> so I got a question. Mm-hmm. Did y'all think Laverne's acting was a little a little off at times, or was it just me? No, it was, but I, I allowed him to be. Okay. As long as it wasn't just me. <laughs> like, what scenes? Because to me, I can't remember anything where I was there like, oh, so The scenes where he's supposed to be, like, his most afraid, he do something weird at those times. Yeah, it had some okay. times he made some funny faces, and I was just like, Ooh. But um, it just felt like... When he was supposed to get scared, he I was told scared. y'all. Sorry. I know I'm not crazy. What? I don't know about that, Missy. I okay, come I on, told y'all we to bring him down back together. Remember when it was raining and he came to her and she was all like, Oh, she's not here. I told y'all. I do not remember that. Yeah. Yes. Trifling, but go so ahead. Maybe, so maybe they're not talking no more. That's why she was in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sorry. there was a point in the movie where they were talking about sequels, like the barbershop sequels. Yes! And I was like, you talking about sequels in a sequel? And they said, the first one be better. I'm like, as long as you know. Like, this was a good movie. You know, I'll watch it again. I but think they want to throw in shade at themselves. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh i do have one thing to say at least mcdonald's ice cream machine works <laughs> i guess it has to work in zamunda oh that's what i wanted to say too like honorable mentions that wedding dress was everything if i ever get married i would get a wedding dress like that that was everything yeah what's her name i don't know how to pronounce her name Hairstylist? the hairdresser the wife. i really liked her dress the effects were good too. Like when they did the flashback, those effects were really good. Mm-hmm. Oh, this movie felt like a musical to me. It was a lot of music. Oh yeah, in the beginning. Lots of music. 
even and at the end too. It was just lots of music all in all up and through there. But they definitely did tie it together because to me, they did it to where there will be no point of a three. Mm-hmm. Like they did it to the point where you know what happened to Lisa and the King. You know they had kids. Like what else? Yeah. What else you gonna do? I want to see um, uh, Mika get married. There's no three. That's what yeah. I want to see. No, there's no three. I said yeah. that's what I want to see. That would, that would just negate your whole argument about women empowerment. Why she got to get married? Just let her be. <laughs> I just want to see her run the kingdom. Yeah, but he said once I die, you are gonna take over. And what's his name gonna be ambassador? Ambassador. And I want to see it. Going to New York, he was like, "Nah, I'm gonna stay here, live in the castle and whatnot." The mm-hmm. only thing they could do is a series. Three, but, but I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if they did have one because these movies like to overdo it. They could do a series, but even then, like. Uh, that'll get boring real, real quick. Right. I can see her starring in something with um old girl who played Black Panther sister. Shiri? Oh, yeah. She better call a Black mm-hmm. Panther because she could really, yeah. She could be in two. She, mm-hmm. she had the movie. look. She was great at the acting. Yeah, she could be in two. She's really prepared. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, this is on topic, off topic. I want to tour Rick Ross's house. I want to see what the whole thing look like. Y'all don't want to? I do. I think it's a great house. I don't want to tour it, though. I want to kind of stay for a little bit, you know? <laughs> you think I, I want to move in? in? No, he won't know I'm there, so. Right. A uh, house that huge, I-, I couldn't imagine. Not in every single room, exactly. He should run it out for Airbnb. Be if a y'all were rich, would y'all want a big house? With cameras. Yeah. In every room. I just need a pool and security. Can I get it? It don't have to be that big, but I want it to be big enough mm-hmm. where I'm ready to like, you know what? I'm done with this side of the house. Let's go over here. To the other wing. That, that sounds big to me, but go off to this. It's not big where she told him to pick any bedroom, you know, pick somewhere else. It's not that big. It's just go over there that big. You got a whole nother wing. Well, yeah, you don't want him to be able to pick another bedroom? Pick another one? Like, you're going to be... No, like, this entire side <laughs> is off limits. <laughs> and I just thought of that. Akeem showed his ass because he was like, how are you going to get me out of my bedroom? Like, he was trying to imply, like, it was a hers. I was like, ooh, mm-hmm. now I see your true colors. Right. <laughs> right. And she had to pull hers out, too. Right. Well, don't forget I'm from- you got me from Queens, baby. I can, I'm, don't act like you forgot who I was. Right. She ain't never acted like that, though, but she was drunk off the little Ciroc. Well, sometimes that's what it takes, sis. Yeah. <laughs> We didn't. We didn't really get a lot of uh, personality until she had a little liquor. So now, if she had some dilly on, then she probably would have been like a this my castle. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you see, he made it up and went to get a whole choir to wake her up in the morning. <laughs> and that lady could sing. I was like, oh, I like her version. Mm-hmm. Did y'all stick around long enough to hear John Legend sing uh, Queen to Be? Oh, I did. <laughs> Thank you. Because people were people were hyping him up on uh, social media. Wait, really? I didn't see it. John <laughs> Legend is that friend. You gotta tell him to stop playing. You gonna play again? Somebody <laughs> <laughs> do want to hear that all the time. <laughs> No, well, okay. What another scene I did sneaker at when he was all like introducing Lavelle Johnson and my mom's <laughs> and his mom's. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was like, okay, that was funny. 
Nah. Oh my gosh, and when someone, I think it was G, was talking about them training him to walk, and then when he trained him to walk like an old pimp, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so now, uh, Miss C, would you watch um, the second movie again? Miss C, we only got two minutes. We don't got time for you to be right <laughs> If I was forced, yes. That eye <laughs> is terrific. That is a beautiful eye. It's cursive. Right, yeah, my it's, curses and cursive. It looks like if Fed, if Fed was forced. But I see, you, you just made it very fancy. If I was forced. Yeah, so thank you for coming to watch us about this movie. I'm so glad you came to see us. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can have a cow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>